to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Turkish Munchies Snack Pack. Got this from Amazon. I believe I paid $19.99. And everything in this snack pack is from Turkey. So we're going to go international today. But before I get into the review, if you're new here, I just ask that you hit that subscribe button below. Hit that bell to be notified. I drop new content on this channel every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so let's get into this review. All right, so this is the Turkish Munchies Snack Pack by... Mucazine? Muc Zion. Alright, so let's look at this packaging. As you can see, you have a little monster here, and he's devouring some snacks. Looks like he is standing on top of the moon. You have the name of the company, and all these snacks surrounding the little monster. I like the packaging. Very colorful. Um, great presentation. Okay, let's go around the side. You have some information in a barcode here. On the other side, you have the snacks that wrap around. Here you have the expiration date, and then you have some information from the company. So it is Turkish munchies instagram their their facebook and their website and then on the back you have their logo some more snacks and it looks like one of the planets and then over here it says that uh you know just tell you about the allergens so you'll know if Anything in the snack box contains something you are allergic to. All right, so let's open this box and get to enjoying these Turkish snacks. Right. So opening the box, the first thing you get is a little pamphlet. Very nice, on good paper, colorful, matches the box. Okay, and... It tells you what each snack item is okay and what I'm going to do is try to compare the Turkish snack with one of the American snacks just so that you'll get an idea okay so here goes the box and they filled this box up with a lot of Turkish snacks all right, so I am very excited. Now, this is not my first snack box un unboxing. Um, I also did the Yummy Yeti popcorn snack box, and I will put that link in the description below. Once you're finished watching this video, head over to that one and watch it and give it a thumbs up. All right, so this is going to be my second snack box unboxing on this channel all right the first thing now i'm gonna have to try to pull it out and then look at the pamphlet to see which one it is here all right so the first thing i'm gonna pick is this one here all right look how colorful that packaging is and this is the osmo burger okay Osmo Burger. This is the back. So let me find this on the packaging thing here. Let's see. Wait, I don't see that one. That one ain't on there. So the Osmo Burger. Osmo Burger is a funny snack for both kids and adults. It's a hamburger shaped biscuit filled with chocolate cream. Osmo is a cartoon illustration character like Bart Simpson. So it's a biscuit. Okay. Let's open this up. Oh. It smells sweet. Let's 
take one out. Oh, wow. It looks like a hamburger. Okay, you have the bun and you see the little seeds. And you see that little cheese oozing out of there? Oh. Let's see what's on the inside. Okay, so I'm thinking this is like a like a cheese cracker. Maybe like a Ritz. In America, it'd be like a Ritz. But this is shaped like a hamburger. Let's see if I can show you. See that? All right, let's try this. I have another one in my hand. So that one was just cheese. So if you don't eat meat, you go with this one. But this one actually has like, look like meat in, meat in this one. So I'm thinking that's probably like a chocolate. Okay. So let me show you. This one up close. All right. So let's try this one here. Hmm. Yeah. So it's not like a wrist cracker. The biscuit on top is very sweet. You do get a chocolate center. You can't really taste the cheese flavor. If I had to compare this to an American snack, it kind of tastes like one of those purling, those straw looking things. That's what it tastes like. But this is cute. I think kids would love this. It looks like a little hamburger. I like that. Okay, next one is Nuts Party. All right. So it looks like it is a uh, cheddar and sojin. I guess that's a type of cheese. I see a little um, red onion mixed in there. Nice packaging. Okay, let's see what this nuts party is about here. Let me see if I can find it. All right, so the nuts, the nuts party, nuts popcorn kernels and ball-shaped chips all covered with herbs mixed either cheddar, onion flavored, or burning hot, so you can get this in a spicy. It also has honey mustard flavor, which is a new mix for many Turkish snack lovers. Nuts come with a basic snacking kit in small size to have it on the go. It somewhat tastes like crispy crackers. Let's open up the nuts party. Smell tape. I mean, smell test. Smell test. Okay. So, this it must be the little cracker things they were talking about. Mmm. That's good. I like that. That's a real cheesy, cheesy taste. You got peanut. Yeah. I like these. Nuts party. I like them. So those are good. Um, I give the Osmo Burger a 10. And the Nuts party a 10. So Turkish snacks, you're doing good. Alright. So what's next? What I'm going to pick next? Pizza crackers. Okay. So these are going to taste like pizza. Alright, let's see what these pizza uh, crackers are about. Pizza was first introduced to the Turkish market in the early 90s. It was a failure. Turkish people did not like it and almost all pizza restaurants were closed within a few years. Oh, I love pizza. 
This was until Ninja Turtles started to screen on TV. Oh, because you know them Ninja Turtles love their pizza. All of a sudden, Turkish mothers ended up with the children pestering them and nagging to have pizza. This gave an opportunity to pizza producers to rise from the ashes. So, thank you to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for bringing pizza back to the Turkish community. All right, let's try these pizza crackers. Ooh, it's, you get that tomato smell to it. You know what, let me show you the inside of that too, so you can see. All right, take one out. They're shaped in a triangle. I don't know if you can see those those spices in there. Okay. Mmm. Has a really tomato taste, Italian taste to it. These are good too. I don't know what these would be compared. Maybe combos in America. These are good. I give these a solid eight. I would, I would snack on these. These are good. Okay. What's next? There's so many in this box, and I'm trying not to make this video too long, but we're going to keep it rolling. Okay, so next is the brownie gold. Okay. All right. So let's see what this brownie gold is about. Like I said, I have this paper, so I'm reading. Let me see if I can find the brownie. I don't see the brownie go on the little pamphlet, so we're just going to go ahead and go. So I'm guessing chocolate brownie. All right. Definitely a chocolate brownie with no icing. Okay. Oh. Smells very chocolatey. Hmm. Very moist. Very soft. Mm hmm. Not bad. I give this one a for the brownie gold. All right, next. Is the cement cement crackers? All right. That's what they're going to look like here in the bag. Now let me see if this one is on the list. So I can tell you what it is. Mm. Okay, so some of these I've noticed are not on the pamphlet to tell me what it is, so... I'm just going to give you my interpretation of what I think it is at this point. Okay, going forward. So, cement crackers. Don't just smell bad. Here they are. They look like... They look like pretzels with maybe sesame seeds on them. I don't know. Let's see. Mm. 
definitely circle shaped crackers or pretzels with sesame seeds on it. Not bad. So far, I'm liking all of the Turkish snacks. I give this one a 7. Alright, what's next? Alright, we got some candy. Okay. Candy here. Looking at the little character, it looks like it's going to be kind of sour. Alright. Oh yeah, it's gonna be sour. Let's see, there we go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. I don't know. It's because I ate the the cement cement crackers. This is sour, but the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. I give this a three. Oh, Jesus. All right. What's next? Okay. So we have the... The 1025... Ooh, Kimler, I don't know. I'm not going to butcher the Turkish language. I'm just going to try the snack. So, <laughs> all right. Nice packaging. All right. Oh, wow. So, this is what it looks like. Okay. This kind of looks like a really thick... Um, nutty buddy bar. So, okay. Mm hmm. Has a cream on the inside. See that? Kind of have like a coffee taste to it, too. Not bad. I give this one. Uh, six. Okay. So that's not bad. All right. What's next? There we go. This one here. Oh, nice little design on it. Okay. See that answer out? Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like like a um, Rochelle Rochelle Ferrer or however you pronounce it. You know the the ones that come in the gold pack and it has the hazelnut on the inside. That's what the this one tastes like. And those are one of my favorite candies, so I'm going to get out of 10 because it tastes just like it. All right. Next. Okay. The coconut. 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 All right. tastes good too this also kind of tastes like the candy I just mentioned as well so I'm gonna give this a 10 too good so far all the Turkish chocolate has been good all right what we got here go another one here Oh, 
This is a white chocolate. Okay. This is like a zero bar. So, not bad. I give this a nine. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I mean, they packed a lot into this box. So, I'm going to end up doing a part two. Okay? So, the last one, I want to make it. I want to make it good. Oh, look at this. This coconut cookie. Okay. Here it is. Look at that. That's pretty. Make you not want to eat it. Let me go to the back. Look at that. Mm, it smells good too. So it looks like it's a coconut with a cream on the, you know, holding the coconut on the cracker or the cookie. All right. Oh, it's not a cream. It is coconut, but it's marshmallow. And the cookie is very soft. Not a big fan of marshmallow, but I do love coconut. Not bad. I can probably eat this. It's so pretty, you don't you really don't want to eat it. I give this an eight and a half. Reminds me of the snowball cupcakes that we had. So yeah. All right. So this has been the first part of the Turkish snack box. Um, I will have to do a part two. So make sure you be looking out for that. Thank you for stopping by if you have not yet subscribed please do so the subscribe button below hit that bell to be notified please make sure that you like comment down below if you have tried this turkish snack box do i have a favorite in this video it would probably be the one that reminds me of the, the hazelnut candy that you get in the gold packaging that would probably be my favorite out of, out of this first half of the box please make sure you share this video with each and every one you know thank you for stopping by and i'll see you in the next video